Welcome to Caker 101, torting, filling, crumb coating, quintessential steps to the perfect layered cake. Let's start with torting. So to properly tort, I take my right elbow and tuck it in next to my side and leave it there in that one solid position. All the work for this is done using my left hand. So my blade stays perfectly still. My left hand turns the cake and turntable so that my blade just gently glides through the layer of cake and gives me a perfectly flat layer each and every time. This is how I tort all of my cakes with no troubles at all. It may take a minute to get used to, but you know what? There's no better way to tort your cake. Don't saw your cake. It doesn't work. And you will end up with, more than likely, a lopsided layer. Now, I could easily tort these in half again, but I like a thick layer of cake. So I'm going to demonstrate now how to actually just tort them into another cake if you wish. So trim off your top, and then placing your blade center to your layer. Same motions, and then you have two thinner layers of cake. Now let's fill these cakes. I like to cut my boards to the same size as my actual cake. And then for maneuvering purposes, I use the acrylic discs to be able to get them in and out of the fridges. Stick a little bit of buttercream on the disc in order to hold the cardboard, as well as a little bit of buttercream on the cardboard to hold the cake. I use simple syrup on all of my cakes to help with moisture and shelf life. And then using a scoop, I can ensure that I have the perfect amount of buttercream in every layer of cake and not guess if this is the same amount as the last time. It's a great way for people to be able to make sure, A, they make enough buttercream, and B, monetize so that they know how much they use every time they make a cake. So continuing the process of filling, again, using simple syrup to help put moisture into the layers. And then I like to use a small, handled, sorry, a small angled spatula because I get better control. I have the larger ones and I use them from time to time, but I can control the icing better using the small angled spatula. So all of my tiered cakes are three layers of cake, two layers of buttercream. So it's important that I make sure that I get these foundation steps absolutely perfect each and every time. So as you can see, repeating these steps over and over again, the process is exactly the same. And I take just as much care and caution doing these with every tier, regardless of its size. You can rest these before you continue on to the crumb coat. However, not necessary because it's just a simply, it's simply just a buttercream filling. So we'll go ahead and we'll crumb coat them next. I like to take just as much care and caution putting the crumb coat on the outside of my cakes as I do when I'm doing my final layer. Because you know what? This, these steps of your caking journey are the foundation steps to the perfect cake. Just like your home has a perfect foundation, it's poured, it's set, it's leveled, everything is done with care and caution. You want to use those same you want to use that same mindset with your cake. Everything goes on from this point. So, just a thin layer of cake, just a thin layer of buttercream on your cakes here, and this helps you keep the crumbs in the cake so that when you put your final coat of buttercream on there, you don't end up with any crumbs. A bench scraper is used to scrape off any excess. Again, we just want a nice thin layer, and then we scrape the top inward to give a nice sharp edge. Repeat this process for every one of your cakes and take just as much care and caution. I could slap it on and leave it looking just like that if I wished, but you know what? It's going to make the next steps harder. So take the time to scrape off that excess buttercream to make sure you have it nice and smooth, nice and crisp. And then preferably you want to let these rest overnight in the fridge. The better they set, the easier it is to do the next steps. Just like the foundation to your home is set for so many days before they built on top of it, you want to do the same process with your cakes. Now, before everybody starts freaking out, small cakes are the worst. Don't worry, even the professionals have trouble with chasing them around their turntables. Here I like to stick a little skewer down in the center. It acts almost like a handle, so when I'm going to ice the cake, I can hold on to that to keep it from sliding around. It's not going to leave a large hole, so I'm not overly concerned about it. And again, I'm using the same process and getting that crumb coat onto the cake. Once complete, stick in the fridge, et voila. I hope you've enjoyed.